What if building an app could be as easy as describing that application to an AI assistant and having that create a detailed entity relationship diagram of that application and a fully functioning responsive app for you? Well, it really can be that easy with Copilot in Power Apps. Let's see how it works. The ability to create a multi-table application in Power Apps is available in Preview right now. So to get to it, you'll go to make.preview.powerapps.com. Right here from the homepage, you'll select Start with Data. And then we'll select this option to create new tables. There's multiple ways to create new tables here, like from a SharePoint list or Excel, but we want to get AI help here. So we're going to choose this Start with Copilot option. Now this pops up a window where we can put in a prompt to describe our business scenario that we're trying to solve. So I'm going to put in a prompt here to ask it to create an application for managing internal training. This should allow for us to track multiple sessions by topic and instructor and let individual employees sign up for multiple trainings. You want to be as detailed as possible here, but do know that you're limited to 2000 characters in this text box. We have an option here for table options that we can configure, which has some default settings. And in most cases, you'll probably leave these alone. This is telling it whether we want this to allow for multiple tables or a single table, if we want it to include relationships in the entity relationship diagram, and how big we want the table size to be, small, medium, or large. So depending on your business needs, you might adjust these, but I will leave that all default for now. Now, all we have to do is click generate, and that will go and create an entity relationship diagram of a suggested data structure in Microsoft Dataverse to meet this business need. And now we can see the AI Copilot has helped us and suggested three different tables for this application. We have training enrollment, employee, and training session. So based off of what I put in for the prompt, this seems like a data structure that will meet those needs. And if we wanna see the details of any of these individual tables, we can click on the three dots next to the table and choose view data. This will show us all the individual columns that were created for this table and give us some sample data to look at. So for employee, we see it suggested an employee ID, name, department, position, email, and phone. So lots of descriptive information here about the employee itself that would be signing up for one of these trainings. We can look at the training session table and view its data and see what it has created here for us. So we have session ID, topic, instructor, date, and location. So that is all looking pretty good. And finally, the training enrollment. So this would essentially be the mapping between a training session and an employee that signed up for it. So we have an enrollment ID and we have lookup columns. If we can hover over the column itself and it will tell us what type of column it is. So we have a lookup column to the employee ID and we have a lookup column to the session ID. And finally, the enrollment date. So the date they actually enrolled for that course. And we'll notice if we look at the entity relationship diagram in between each of these tables, we have this option here. So it's created relationships for us. If we click on this, we can go to edit and we can see the type of relationship that it suggested. So for training enrollment to the employee, we see that it has a many to one relationship, which is essentially saying that many employees can sign up for an individual training, but an employee can't sign up multiple times for the same training. And if what Copilot suggested for us here, as far as the relationship goes, isn't correct, we can always change that by clicking the drop down down and changing it to one to many. But in this case, I believe this is the correct relationship type. So we can just cancel out of that. And we can look at this other relationship that it's created from the employee enrollment table to the training session. Again, a many to one, which looks like the correct relationship type. So right now it hasn't actually created anything for us. It's just suggested a data structure for application. So we have complete control right now over the data structure if we need to make any changes. If we don't like the name of the table it's suggesting, we could click on the properties right here and we can change the display name. We can add a more thorough description. All of this is customizable. And if we're not sure if this is all we need, we can select this view prompts option because we have Copilot along here with us to continue making tweaks to this diagram. And if we click view prompts, we see we have all of these options. And one option below is to suggest. So maybe we're not sure if this is all the information we need. So we could have it suggest tables to create. And now Copilot will suggest some other additional tables. And then you can evaluate if any of these tables are needed, but we actually have all of these in there right now, so we're good. We can choose view prompts as well well, and we can have it create different things. Other things that we can do here natively in Copilot if we click view prompts is import data. So if we're starting with some existing data, we can actually have that import the data directly from SharePoint or Excel as part of this entity relationship diagram. In this as well, we can have it create different things. So we can have it create tables, create rows, columns, create relationships. We can have Copilot help us change things like renaming tables, renaming columns, change column types. And of course we can have it delete things as well. If it added anything that we don't feel like we need, we can have it delete tables, columns, and relationships. 
but this is actually looking pretty good. I think I like the table structure that it suggested and I'm ready to go. Now I wanted to have it actually go and create this underlying table structure in Dataverse and create an application for me using this data. So if we're at to that point where we're ready to commit to what it suggested here, we can just select save and open app. So this will go through and create those Dataverse tables with all of the relationships and all the sample data that it's provided. And then it will create a fully functioning Power Apps Canvas application for us that's automatically connected to all of that data so we can add and view and edit and delete all the items in those individual tables. And the application that it's going to create for us here will be responsive, meaning that it'll work no matter what device type you're on. It will respond natively if you're on a desktop, a tablet, or a mobile device. And here is our AI generated application for us. We see it's giving us a landing screen. So let's just walk through the application. I'm going to click this preview the app button so I can see what it would look like for an end user. So we have these buttons where we can move across the different tables that are created for us. So if I want to manage my employees, I can click on that. And here is a gallery on the left-hand side where I can see all of the different sample data that is created. As I click through one of those, it updates the information on the right-hand side so I can see all the details. I can add a new item here. So add a new employee to that table, edit and delete and all of that. I can go back to the homepage. We can do the same thing for training sessions. So I can see all of the sessions that I have, manage those, add, edit, delete, search through my sessions. And then if we go back, we can have the training enrollments as well. So I can see everyone who's enrolled in an individual training and manage all of that data. And another thing that you'll notice about what is created is so we have this globe icon that says connected. Natively, if you're using Dataverse in Canvas apps, you can actually have it support mobile offline. So this will work whether you're connected to the internet or not. So that's what this little icon is showing us here. And as I mentioned, these are responsive. So if I click on the phone icon, I can see what it would look like on an iPhone. So I can see that it does respond accordingly and it looks just as good on an iPhone as it does here on my desktop. So just by me putting in the business scenario that I want to solve, it's created a multi-table application for us with our data stored in Dataverse that supports mobile offline, that supports multiple records, multiple relationships, and has a fully functioning responsive app. If we look at the data here, here are all of those tables that are created for us. And at any point we can go back, select edit data and make any tweaks to the data after Copilot has created that for us. So we have complete control of the data that is created. And the same Copilot that we use to create this, we also have with us in this application to continue to make tweaks. So we have it here to have it add screens and buttons and controls for us. And we even have Copilot here in our PowerFX menu to do things like write PowerFX code or explore explain different formulas in the app so we know exactly what's going on in the app that it generated for us. And that, my friends, is how easy it is to create multi-table applications with Copilot and Power Apps. Well, that's all that I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and support the channel by clicking that subscribe button. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video.